It's dark, it's hot. It's a little nerve wracking for someone who's never crawled around in an airplane that's on fire. Sean Dempsey is the assistant airport manager at Frederick, Maryland. But today, he's dressed as a firefighter. We're a GA reliever airport for Baltimore. Sean is in Pittsburgh for a 40-hour aircraft rescue firefighting course taught by instructors at Pittsburgh International Airport's fire department. I think the aspect of any sort of airport should be to make the airport as safe as it possibly can be. Uh, anytime you can just chip away multiple layers to remove any sort of barrier that will be in a way for a future accident, I feel like it's necessary to try to take care of that ahead of time. Pitt's training facility attracts groups and fire departments from across the world. This class comprises of personnel from about five other states, um, as far away as Michigan. A combination of classroom and live training, the 40-hour course covers a lot of ground. Keeping in mind, some in the class have no firefighting experience. So we have to teach them how to use a hose, how to wear their SCBA or their self-contained breathing apparatus, which is the air tank and the mask we wear, um, up to the point of how do you ladder an aircraft if you have to get inside. Live fire scenarios allow the participants to put all the skills and techniques they learn to use. One training scenario is a possible wheel brake fire. They're going to use the truck, or they're going to pull a hand line and, and put some water on it to try to put it out. Uh, and where those techniques come, especially anything that's burning under the wing, we want to protect the wing because that's where all the fuel sits. So we want to try to get that fire out, but also keep that metal in the wing cool so it won't burn through and create a bigger incident. Training also includes using the ARF Rapid Intervention Vehicle. It carries 1,500 gallons of water with around 900 gallons a minute flowing out of the turret. This training is done in conjunction with the Northeast chapter of the American Association of Airport Executives. That's how Sean Dempsey ended up in the training, a training that he can bring back to his airport in Maryland. I, I feel like I'm going to have plenty of knowledge and uh, just textbook type stuff to bring back to my airport.